My name is Caroline. Um, I have two children, Jasmine, who's my eldest daughter, she's nearly eight now, and Caitlin, she's four. First noticed Caitlin had problems, well probably when she was born, she, uh, she was in um, special care for a while. She never reached those milestones that, that my eldest daughter did. So she got to about one years old and um, took her to the doctors and, and she gave me that look and I'd already had her diagnosed by the time she was 14 months. Thankfully, um, I'd pushed and pushed for her to have MRI scans and uh, to see various paediatricians and you start the whole rigmarole of hospital visits and I was told that Caitlin has a brain condition called agenesis of the corpus callosum which basically means she does not um, transmit messages very well from one side of the brain to the other and this um, I was told could affect her um, in a number of ways physically and mentally. Caitlin is now four. Thankfully I found pace um, parent and child group when Caitlin was two. Caitlin started having epilepsy when she was about 14 months and we went through about 18 months of in and out of hospital with seizures that were just not able to be controlled very well. I'd started with Pace probably about oh, 10 months into, well eight to ten months into that that area of our life. I finally had found somewhere that understood Caitlin. Um, I think I'd been dealing with a medical profession and whilst they are fantastic in what they do, you're constantly um, feeling like you have a child that is just failing, is not reaching those milestones, is not doing all the things that your other normal child did. To have to f have found somewhere that makes me feel that I have a daughter that will achieve it may not be what Jasmine has achieved it may not be what my friends children is, are achieving there are positives and there is hope and that's one of the things that I'm very thankful for in finding pace so we started the parent and child group when Caitlin was about two um, two and a half and this involved coming a couple of afternoons a week being in a class with a conductor who's the teacher and other parents of two other children and over the last nearly 18 months to two years we've formed very close friendships um, with those other families there's been a support network that's been created our children and us in the fact that we're just normal people I think there's such a stigma attached to having a child with special needs that you almost feel ostracised from from society sometimes. That really shouldn't be the case, and certainly in pace that is not the case. It is very much geared around feeling like it, you're, you're part of a family, and you're taught in parent and child. You're in you're attending these sessions with these children. So you're learning and the children are learning and you can put these things into practice when you go home. So things like um, getting dressed, doing exercises to strengthen the legs, learning about their tone and what is good for them, what isn't good for them are all things that can be applied at home or in everyday life. It's a whole, it's not just to me, it's not just an education, it's about how you can learn and the children can learn all the time in in all in all situations so the difference that it's made to me as a mother i feel more normal i feel like i have support i feel that i can completely trust these people to look after and educate a daughter that i felt very protective over and i feel the major thing is the hope for the future. You know, I was told that I had a daughter that probably wouldn't do a lot. And she's she's walking. She's independently stepping now. And to some people at four, that may seem not a lot. But to me, it's a, it's a, it's a major achievement. And I'm able now to celebrate every every little thing that she does. You know, I can't honestly tell you the first time that Jasmine, my eldest daughter pulled off her top herself 
but I could tell you when Caitlin did it because it was such a celebrated achievement within the class. We all cheered and we all laughed. And that that is a wonderful thing to, to harness and to grab hold of. Um, so it's made a massive difference to me in the fact that I have hope for Caitlin's future, um, that she will continue to learn and she will continue to achieve, however that may be. The difference that it's made to Caitlin, well, she's so much stronger. She's a different little girl. I mean, she's gone from, you know, a, a baby that was being picked up um, moved everywhere, um, didn't do anything for herself at all, you know, never thought that she could, to a four-year-old little girl that, whilst has major issues with mobility and lots of things, she's far more independent. I can give her keyword um, instructions, which she will understand. She's a lot stronger. She's now being given the opportunity to do more things and it's it's she's a content child anyway but she's certainly come on leaps and bounds um, since being involved in parent and child I therefore think that pace I don't know where I would be without them um, and I don't know where a lot of f families and children would be without pace um, we look forward to moving on to a nursery class um, at the end of this month there she will be doing three days a week and she will be left for the first time and I have complete confidence that she will be absolutely fine and will be happy and will be well cared for will be just encouraged to do her best pace have been inspirational and, and continue to be inspirational I'll happily give my time get involved in in trying to raise money for for the cause of pace and what they do so the only thing i could this leaves me to say is that i'm you know really happy with with how things have gone and, and finding pace for caitlin and all that it has given us and all the other families that are involved too